The world is in shock at how fast the Taliban took over Afghanistan, mostly without much fighting. It was far faster than the U.S. invasion of Afghanistan 20 years ago. Now fear and anxiety are high in the West and among Afghan allies of America. Tens of thousands are trying to flee Afghanistan. It shows in the rush to the airport, where at least 10 people died, while only two people died in Kabul on Sunday. From 1996 to 2001, the Taliban led a regime that was not recognized by many. It was infamous for a brutal rule in which girls could not go to school. Women were barred from working. But 20 years later, the Taliban seems to not be repeating their past mistakes. They announced a general amnesty for government workers. And they asked all government staff, including women, to return to work. Although schools and universities remained closed in Kabul, this girls' school in Herat opened its doors to the girls to pursue their education. We're happy that our schools have started and we can continue our studies. And we hope the Taliban not to obstruct our progress, so we can help our nation develop like other countries. The school's principal says, thank God we the school are open, but girls have to adhere to the Islamic hijab. We are grateful to God that the doors of education have been opened to our dear children. And since the schools opened yesterday, our dear students are attending their classes in large numbers while adhering to the Islamic hijab. Exams are continuing. Our teachers are very satisfied. Our teachers, students, and administrative staff are all entirely present while adhering to the Islamic hijab. However, Afghans are reacting cautiously. A few women took to the streets. Men are changing into Afghan salwar kameez instead of Western clothing. An Afghan political analyst who spoke with ABC argues that the Taliban had changed drastically due to globalization and the experience they had gained. He says in the past the Taliban fighters were just simple students from the madrasas. But within the last 20 years, they learned how to negotiate and cooperate with international allies while still being conservative.